What is up YouTube? It's your boy FX here with another video for you. Been getting a lot of great feedback and people seem to particularly like the research type videos so I went ahead and decided to do a video on the stats in Conan. Now people have done some videos on this already but I did want to take it one step further and actually do some math on it and some analyzing to figure out where the best places to invest your points are mathematically. So let's get right into it. So one of the biggest questions you're gonna hear any new player ask is, where do I put my stat points? What stat points are best for PVP? Are there any stat points that are useless? How much damage do I get from each point of strength? And I hope to pretty much answer all those questions here today in a condensed format. So before anything else, I want to give a shout to right Bruce Wolf. He did way, a lot of research so we'll in getting second. these numbers. But, um, they are his yeah, research. I want to make sure he gets credit for that. All I've done is taken his data to be, to be able to manipulate it. But yeah, it's nuts. So when you're looking at all the stats just on paper like this, it doesn't actually look that great. It's hard to figure out what you're looking at and what it all means. So I've went ahead and condensed it down into a few easy to read graphs. Let's take a look at them first. The first two graphs we're gonna look at is strength and accuracy because let's be fair, doing damage is probably the most important thing. In the weapon power graph, we did have several more data points which you can kind of see clustered up. It turns out that the power you gain from strength is actually linear and it ends up being about 0.8 damage per point in strength. You can see that investing 10 points into strength gained you 8 damage, whereas investing 50 points in strength gives you 42 damage, which as we would expect is about 8 damage per 10 points. It ends up being slightly higher, but for the purposes of argument and optimization, it's about 0.8. With accuracy, it ends up being just about the same. I've plotted this one differently just to show how much damage gain exactly you get per 10 points. And you can see that from the first 10 points, you only got seven damage on the bow, but by 50 points, you were still getting eight damage per 10. So this slope ends up being about the same at 0.8 damage per point. The next set of graphs is going to deal with your vitality and stamina, which of course are just as important as damage done. If you run out of stamina mid-fight, you're probably going to die to spiders and hyenas, or even worse, another player. So these stats are just as important as damage done. Health ends up being very predictable in that you're going to get 12 points of HP for every single point of vitality. That means if you invest 25 points of vitality, you're gonna have 500 total health because you start with a base of 200. If you maxed out your vitality and wanted to put 50 points in it, you're gonna get up to 800 HP, but you're gonna be pretty worthless otherwise. The same can be said for stamina. We all start out with that 100 base, and for each point, we're gonna get three points of stamina, which means if you invest 20 points into grit, you're gonna end up with about 160 stamina which is about 60% more than you start with, but considering how fast stamina goes in this game, it's still not a lot. To effectively double your stamina, you'd need to invest about 33 points. These graphs are a bit different because it was difficult to show the data in a way that made the most sense. As far as agility is concerned, it's a well-known fact that one agility is equal to one armor. The real question is, how effective is armor? This graph here actually shows the damage mitigated per armor, which means that at zero armor, you're gonna mitigate zero damage. But you can see that at 40 armor, you were able to mitigate 15 of the damage coming in. And at 137 armor, you were able to mitigate 29 damage coming in. So as far as I'm concerned, agility is basically a measure of how much damage can be mitigated. Interestingly enough, at 87 agility, or 87 armor, you're able to mitigate 24 damage. That's the same amount of armor you have in a full set of heavy armor. Which means that if you put on a set of heavy armor and you put 13 points in agility, you're only gaining 1 damage mitigated from 24 to 25 with your 13 point investment in agility. At a low level, without any armor, yeah, 20 points in agility is going to mitigate 9 damage. But as soon as you're in that heavy armor, that agility becomes meaningless. Encumbrance, on the other hand, 
ends up being a linear gain once again at about seven points of encumbrance gained per point invested. Considering that we start out at 70, this is pretty good because by investing only 20 points, we're effectively able to triple our carry weight. Now you might say, FX, those graphs are unfair because it costs different amounts to get a higher stat point. For instance, at level 45, it costs 10 points per stat, whereas at level zero, it only costs one. You don't have to worry because I've looked into that as well. This graph right here actually shows the exact slope at any time, given how many points you've already spent. So it basically shows how much more the next point invested is gonna cost you. This ends up actually being the most important graph because it lets us see that once we start spending more than 20 to 25 points in any given stat, we're really wasting a lot of our efficiency. What I mean is, the slope raises so dramatically that once you start investing more than 25 points, those points could have been invested elsewhere to much greater effect. What does this all mean with regard to stat efficiency and what stats should be spent where? Well, it's fairly simple for most people. Survival's going to be worthless. Grit, you're going to want at least 10 to 15. Encumbrance is a matter of personal preference, but I don't see the point of having anything less than 15. Knowing how much strength and accuracy cost above 30, I wouldn't recommend having them any higher than 25 each for any reason. Considering how inconsistent errors are still after many patches, I still wouldn't put that many points in accuracy either. I'd focus most of my efforts on vitality, strength, encumbrance, and grit. This is sort of an unoptimized build that I've been playing with that seems to work really well overall. You'll notice I took no points in survival and pretty much ignored agility altogether. Agility is completely worthless and at this point I wouldn't invest a single point into it simply because it doesn't scale well at all and once you're in heavy armor at the end of the game those points in agility could have been spent better elsewhere. Alright guys, I hope this video has been helpful. If I left anything out, please let me know in the comments. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. After watching this, you hopefully have a very, very firm understanding of the stat values, what they give to you, and why it's really not worth investing more than 20-25 points in any stat. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and we will see you soon.